Hey guys, we're already at part five and we're getting close to being done with our video. Now it's time for just the finishing touches. So what we're going to do next is play with the sound. Um, some of you may have sound from your video that you want to play and others of you may just want to mute your sound and only have the music playing. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those things. Um, here I am at our kind of uh, main screen, I guess you could say, and we still want to be in the timeline view up here where it says timeline S. If you're not in that view, go ahead and click on your gear, choose this timeline intermediate, and save the changes. And we're going to be using this sound bar right now. If you can't see it, because I know you guys have fairly small screens on your computers, um, go ahead and click on this button that says go to full screen. And that will give you a little bit better view of what you're trying to do. And you can click allow. Because we're definitely going to allow that on our computers. Um, as you go through, if you want to see stuff better, there's also this little magnifying glass thing here in the corner. And it makes your clip sizes bigger or smaller, if that helps a little bit. And then to move along on your storyboard, you can just drag this bar right here. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to completely mute a clip. If you had sound on your video clips that you don't really want people to hear, you can mute the whole thing. Um, what you can do is you can select a video clip. So for me, this one of Clarence is a video clip. Go ahead and click the edit. Oh, and then go ahead and choose this um, volume right here. From the volume, you can either make your you know, sound of your talking on your video either softer or louder or you can just choose to mute it if you don't want any sound from your video playing and you only want the music playing through the whole thing. Um, once you have it how you like it, you can go ahead and click done. One of the main things that people want to do though is they want to you know, make the music get quieter during their audio on their video and then get louder again and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to play just the beginning of my video of Clarence so I know where the sound starts. Clarence, sit. Clarence, sit. Okay, so let's say that I want that, the music, to get a little bit quieter while I'm trying to teach Clarence how to sit. So pay attention to where your sound is. So at 41 seconds is where I want it to end. And at about 38 seconds, I think. Sit. Okay, right at the beginning of my video, I want it to go down. So what we're going to do is where you see this wrench and this, these tools over here, click down and then say show clip volume. Now you're going to see over on this red sound clip that this line appeared. And we're going to add some points to it. When your mouse hits the line, it says click to add a volume point. I'm going to add one where I want it to start getting quieter. And then I'm going to do another one where I want it to stop and if you remember right it was just right around 40 something so I'll go ahead and you can play it if you want to remember seems like a good spot so I'll add another one there now when you move this it actually controls how loud the volume of your song is so see I moved it from 100 to 54 so let's just try that I'm gonna put that down to 54 and then I'm actually going to put some more points here and drag it back up to 100 or 96. That curve right here will be like a fade in and fade out, so it'll make it sound nicer. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so now let's listen to what it looks like. All right, Clarence. Clarence, sit. Clarence, sit. Sit. Sit, Clarence. Sit. So now you see that when I was talking, the music in the background got quieter, and then when I stopped talking, it got louder. So that's how you can add, um, make your volume go up and down during your entire presentation. I know many of you may be disappointed because you can't add your own music to this video. Um, if you want to change the clip that's playing, you can go to this audio note and you can choose anything from the free music folder to play during your video. 
At this point, I think it's best not to upload your own songs because there are a lot of different copyright rules. And since your videos are going to be of varying lengths, we don't want to be uploading our favorite song illegally. So if we use anything from this free music video file, you're going to be safe and we'll be able to use it on any kind of video service like YouTube or anything like that without getting in trouble or having any copyright infringement. So that should complete what you need to do with sound on your video. So again, just take some time and play with the sound. It can take a little while to get it right, but it really makes the video seem more finished and more polished. Um, in the last uh, video that I'm going to be creating next, we're going to take your whole project and we're going to learn how to save it and to share it with your teacher for grading.